students and teachers across Hampton Roads are preparing to start the school year virtually, and that means empty classrooms for a lot of teachers. But as News 3 reporter Zach Dahlheimer shows us, one Hampton teacher is taking a unique approach, making sure that his classroom is full, not just on a screen, but in person. Just been a really great experience for me. Mark Mingi has taught for nearly 20 years. The history and government teacher at Kikatan High School believes the start of a new school year brings new challenges and opportunities. You're always kind of making little notes off to the side. Okay, when I do this next time, I'm going to put this little spin to it. I'm going to try this differently. But due to COVID-19, preps for this year are different as he and others get ready to start virtually. But now it's a little bit different because you're looking around and going, okay, they're not going to be filled. Uh, and I'm going to be looking at a screen to see you know, their faces as opposed to see them right in front of me. But he's making his classroom a little fuller. He created a fundraiser where people can donate to a scholarship fund and have their picture shown on a desk. Mingi says the idea came from being an avid sports fan. You started to see these images on screens various places or then the transition to cardboard cutouts of people in the stands. The more I thought about that, the more I thought, hey, if I'm going to be in my classroom, and I want there to be people around me. The best thing to do is try to emulate that in some way. So far, he says many friends, alumni, and current students have taken part. We're used to as teachers having each one of those seats filled. And so as those, as it appears those seats are filled, it makes you feel more like a normal everyday um, moment in class. Anything we can do to encourage these students to, to keep doing better, that's really what we want. He hopes to fill as many seats as possible to help him and his students. For Mingi, he says it's all about staying positive. You got to be serious as a teacher, but if you can have a little bit of fun while being serious, all the better. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.